This is the Cardi Method Podcast. Hey, welcome back. Welcome. This is the Cardi Method Podcast, and I am so pumped today about today's episode because we are going to dive deep into how you can use this incredible tool called Score App made by Daniel Priestley to completely transform your lead generation for both high-end magazine portrait style clients like I do, or for qualifying leads for my coaching programs, which I also do. And also, my lead generation strategy is something that like, I'm so happy about this. Like, thank God for YouTube. Because if it wasn't for YouTube, I wouldn't have known about this. We're going to be talking about some of the big names in business, like Alex Hermosi, who actually use this, this tool for their own company, like acquisition.com. I've used Score App, and Score App was developed by Daniel Priestley. He is a genius and one of my most favorite people to watch lately on YouTube. I've used Score App in my business to not only qualify high-end leads for my portrait sessions, but also to filter out the most serious candidates for my coaching programs. This has led to a dramatic increase in both the quality of my photography clients and the conversion rate of my leads. So by the end of today's episode, you're going to understand how to set up a scorecard that qualifies your potential clients your and for me when you qualify your potential clients you can focus your efforts on those who are actually ready and willing to invest in your photography who are willing to invest in the in the offers that you're setting out there so the plan is i'm going to walk you through how the score app works how to build a scorecard for both if you're like me and i shoot like magazine style portraits and or maybe you're a product photographer i'm going to show you how to integrate this tool into your marketing strategy and i'm going to show you how it's going to streamline your lead generation also i'm going to share insights and show you how alex hermosi uses the exact same approach on acquisition.com so you can actually see how this works at different levels of business so this is how I use the score app to qualify leads. And this is proof over the last literally month, a month only, I've been leveraging the score app to qualify leads for both my magazine style portrait sessions and my coaching. The results have been nothing short of transformative. Like, like I can't I can't tell you how crazy it is when I have like more leads from photographers that need my help than I can keep up with. In the past, I'd get lots of inquiries, but not all of them were from clients that were serious about investing in my high-end photography or committed to the rigorous coaching programs that I offer. So that led to a lot of back and forth, me trying to weed out the leads that weren't a good fit and it's a super inefficient use of my time, like to say the least. So with Score App, I was able to create specific scorecards that asked the right questions up front, filtering out those who weren't ready to commit. For example, in my coaching program, my scorecard includes questions like, what stage are you in your photography business? How committed to you are you to making a transition to full-time photography? What's your budget for professional photography coaching? Those questions help me identify the leads of who are truly serious about this coaching and serious about the investment, both financially and mentally. I've seen the impact. I've seen the increase of the number of qualified leads and those leads convert better than I've ever expected. So I'm no longer wait waiting, wasting time. I'm no longer wasting time on tire kickers. I'm focusing my energy on those who are actually ready to take action. So Score App is a lead generation machine. And I'm going to show you exactly how. So first of all, let's talk about the power of qualified leads. Over the last month, 
it's been, I've been using Score App and I started this tool called the Professional Photographer's Readiness Calculator. And let me just open my Score App and go into the back end. Just log in here. So what this has done is it streamlined my lead generation. I mean, you can see where I talk about it and how it just goes insane. And the amount of leads that I've generated in a very, very short time of people who need my help is absolutely insane. So this is just, that's just my professional photographer's readiness scorecard. So this is just in a month. Like that's how many leads I have from this in a month. The results are game changing. So it was hit or miss before. I'd get a whole bunch of inquiries via email and it's like they need my help and then I set up a free chat and then like I have to ask them a bunch of questions and like it was taking hours and I was realizing that many of them weren't a good fit for either my photography and I mean especially people who are my photography clients like I use this to qualify my photography clients which is why you're watching. And I'm sure you can relate how, how frustrating it is when you get a DM and you think it could be a job, but really they have no money. They're just trying to get something for free. Once I implemented using scorecard, everything changed. I don't spend any time chasing down leads that went, that's are going to go nowhere. Now I can only look and, and pan pick the people who are super qualified and serious about their coaching investment or people who are serious about getting magazine style editorial photography done and I can see the budget like I asked the right questions. So that shift allowed me to focus my time on delivering incredibly <laughs> detailed work, building more relationships with the clients who are actually wanting to hire me. So, so a therapist reached out to me recently and I got her to fill out my scorecard where she indicated that she was rebranding and needed a series of magazine style portraits and as well interiors of her new space with her in it. And she wanted to like have a new sophisticated image that matched her new space. Her responses on my scorecard told me that she was ready to invest in a top tier session. I ended up booking a full day shoot for her and it paid very well, because I, I asked in the questionnaire, how much are you willing to pay for this? Like, what's your range? And she hit my top range. So, so many massive businesses are using this. Let me just show you what Alex Hermosi, who found, I mean, you have to know Alex Hermosi. He's an absolute business genius. He founded acquisition.com. He uses the exact same system to filter out the highest quality business leads. And what, Al what Alex Hermosi does is he, help business, he helps businesses scale up to over 10 million in, re in revenue, and then he buys them, and then he helps them scale to 100 million. So to ensure that he's working with the right clients, he creates a detailed questionnaire or scorecard that, that as soon as you go to the website, I'm gonna show you. As soon as you go to acquisition, acquisition.com. Let me just go and find it. Here we go. Acquisition.com. Okay, so as soon as you go to acquisition.com, the first thing it says, do you want to scale your business? What describes you? I want to sell my business. I want to scale my business. I want to start my business. So I want to scale my business. Where are you? Canada. Give me your email. First thing. And then it says, What's your phone number? And then email. So you're having to qualify right away. Like 
Like, what are you looking for? Free or paid? Tell me. So you go through this and it, if you say paid, he puts you and someone calls you. If you say free, he sends you to his free training. So this is incredible, incredible. Like basically, if you imagine like how well this works for qualifying leads, like it is absolutely like you're only going to now see the highest quality leads like i couldn't imagine now doing this any other way i honestly couldn't imagine doing this any other way i use detailed scorecards for every single thing when it comes to my business i'm going to show you this is the professional photographer's readiness scorecard and you say take the test and it asks for your email and you go through 40 questions. I'll just give test at test.com start. Whoever owns the test.com domain. So do you have an up-to-date portfolio that's attracting your ideal clients? Yes, no. Yes. Do you have a solid niche for your photography business? Yes. Do you get more competitor? Do you seem to get more business than your competitors seem to? Hmm, no. So this is how I qualify people who need my coaching. And afterwards, it gives you an incredibly detailed scorecard and it gives you a, com a completely detailed output, the answers to all their questions, all your questions. So. Ah, we're going to make one. I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually do this so you can minimize time and make maximum money right now. So do you want to make a scorecard? Should we make one right now, by the way? Um, should we make a scorecard for your photography business? I'm going to walk you through. Let's do it. Let's walk you through how to build a scorecard using the Score app. And I'm going to do it for... Um, Let's see, should I do it for a product photographer? Should I do it for a portrait photographer? So let's go into it. I'm logged in and I'm gonna show you how easy this is to create right off the bat a new scorecard. So create a new scorecard. Now I want, we can use the AI setup wizard um, cause this is actually pretty sick. So how it works. Um, unleash the power of AI to set up your scorecard in minutes. Watch this. Get started. So what is the goal of the scorecard? Well, we want to get new leads, right? Obviously. Um, what do you want the format to look like? I want it to be um, an overall score. And how would you describe your business? I am um product photographer next how would you describe your target audience i'm looking for e-commerce sellers brands and retailers and retailers e com e-com okay Next, how do you want your clients? What do you want your clients to improve, achieve, or prevent by using? Um, I'm going to say hire me for product photography. Pick a concept. Um, elevate your photography product photography quiz ding ding that's it okay so imagine i'm a product photographer i'm trying to get my clients to know that um so now it's time to add your questions is your current product photography attracting your current audience effectively we're gonna add that one are you looking to enhance your visual appeal of your products on your online platform bring that 
Do you want your products to stand out from competitors through high quality images? Yeah. Are you interested in creating a consistent and cohesive look for your product line? Obviously. Would you like to save time and hassle by outsourcing your product photography needs? Yes. Okay, beautiful. These are beautiful questions. Is your current photography, is your current product photography meeting the quality standards of top brands in your industry? I gotta add that. Do you struggle to capture and the unique features and details of your products in your current photography? Hmm, that's a good one. Are you looking to make a memorable impression on your, um, okay, we don't need that one. Do you believe that high quality product photography can, can significantly increase your sales and conversions? Are you ready to invest in professional photography to elevate your brand's image? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna ask 10 questions. Um, we're gonna say no to that. Um, I already, we're gonna edit this one. We're gonna make this one, um, what is your budget? for high-end product photography ongoing. Um, okay, we're gonna add that question. And then I'm gonna add, is this an ongoing? We just edit um, one more question. Do you need ongoing product photography? services or is this just one time add that question okay so now we have banger questions banger okay next this makes me so happy because this is really this is really going to actually change your reality like it actually is this is going to change your reality because when you're able to, it's just building this now. Oh, here we are. So um, type one overall score, concept, elevate your product photography, question, 10 questions, create my scorecard. Okay, and you can also edit the questions after the fact. So it's building, um, look at this. This has written 623 words for you and saved you four and a half hours. <laughs> okay, let's go to my dashboard. And now I have my scorecard. So the first thing we have to do is update the landing page because the landing page probably looks kind of whack. And it gives you a landing page for this whole thing. So here is my landing page. So you can, first of all, change this whole background because I think the, the blue background is kind of tacky. So you can um, make the image left or right. You can like, if you see what mine looks like, obviously I did mine in this. So this is how mine looks. So assume that you can make, um, assume that you can make this look exactly what I showed you just by like tweaking what's happening here on the sidebar and changing your background color and all of that stuff. Like you can make this look whatever you want. You can add your logo, obviously. Go up here, push plus, choose banners. You can put your logo up there if you like. And there's also all kinds of these templates, like whatever, if you want it to look like this, that's fine. You can just take this little section down here and delete she, and now it looks like that. So whatever you need to do, whatever you want your scorecard to look like, it's pretty easy to do that. So you customize this, just go through and customize it, add your logo, blah, blah, blah. Next, into your questions. We'll save this. And then into your questions. Now your questions are exactly what we said. Is your current product photography attracting and essentially you want yes as a good answer and no as a bad answer right and up here under answers it gives you scoring so yes we want scoring so um you can say a uh, yes answer overall only yes gives me a five no gives me a zero so um but in this 
imagine you're trying to make sure like you can take this so far and how I have it is if one person answers yes to this, that takes them to this scorecard. If they answer no, it takes them to another scorecard. Like I, I, I have like I've really worked mine. Um, but you can imagine after you've done this and after you've gone through all of these questions, and by the way, you can change the look and the colors and all that stuff. That's super easy. So now after you have a results page and it gives you and it gives your customers a results page. We'll save this. It gives your customers a results page and that results page, um, it basically is dynamic. So it she gives them a, a quiz on how ready they are with their product photography. And you also can drop in a video as far as like, hey, this is how I can help you. And you can set up booking a strategy call, which is something that's kind of a no brainer when it comes to how you close deals is you need to get people on a strategy call. People love doing quizzes like it's super easy when you think about who your ideal client is. Like if you're like for me, I shoot magazine style portraits. So I'm targeting people who need high quality editorial portraits or corporate execs, public figures, influencers, like with coaching, I was looking for photographers who are serious about transitioning from their nine to five job to the life of a full-time photographer. So, and also who have the budget to invest in professional coaching. So, I just showed you how easy it was to design a scorecard and actually how easy it was to actually go through and come up with some ideal questions. Imagine if you're a portrait photographer like I am, I shoot editorial magazine style portraits. So questions I would ask would be, what's the primary use for this portrait session? What style of portraiture are you most drawn to? How soon are you looking to schedule your session? What's your budget for this session? How important is this portrait session to convey a specific brand message or style? And if I was a product photographer, like I just showed you, I created a whole list of questions and you can even use ChatGPT to help you do this, but Score app has AI built in specifically for this function. So it works super effectively. So what kind of products do you need photographed? Are you shooting apparel, electronics, food and beverage, beauty, other? How many products are you planning to shoot? Um, how many do you have to shoot? Are we shooting one to five, six to 10, 11 to 20, plus 20? What style of product photography are you need, are you most interested in? Do you need clean and simple on white? Do you need lifestyle or products being used? Do you need creative or conceptual group shots or multiple products in one scene? What's the primary use for your product photography in this session? Is it for e-commerce? Is it for social media marketing? Is it for print advertising, packaging? What challenges have you faced with previous product photography? Not capturing the true colors or the quality of the product, lack of creativity in the presentation, inconsistent results, not receiving enough images on time. What's your budget? Like these are the questions that you can ask, which now you have all this data. And I mean, I can't show you the answers to the questions that I have actual people giving me in my professional photographer's questionnaire, but you can get yourself qualified and you can qualify your client's budget right in this questionnaire. You can find out how quick they need these images delivered. And if they need them instantly or urgently, that gives you a lever on price. So what we're trying to do is help you align yourself with the right customers and understanding like a tool like this and asking these qualifying questions will help you determine if your client's a good fit for your product photography or your wedding photography business or your portrait product business, understanding their specific needs because you're asking the right question. And it actually shows them how professional you are, how actually ready you are to receive them because you're, you're asking them questions that they might have not have even thought on their own. And that gives them confidence in you to invest in high quality photography with you. And 
those questions will help you quickly identify those leads that are serious and ready to invest. And it allows you to focus only on the highest quality prospects. So it's pretty amazing when it comes to how I've managed to use these scorecards in real time. Another issue that I had continually is people wanting my time, people wanting free coaching just because I offer a 15 minute free consultation or a free strategy session. You know, so what that ends up being is people trying to like, let's see if they, if Cardi can fix my entire life in 15 minutes, you know, and they have no hope or no money and no dream or desire to ever pay me. They just saw me on YouTube and they want to just talk to me because they know I can help. So in order for me to prevent that from happening and for it to be not such a, like, I don't want to, it's not a waste of my time because helping people is always necessary. But there's this other incredible thing that um, I watched um, Daniel Priestley did a video on and it's about just your one-to-one -one time. Like when it comes to people trying to get your time, I had to create a one-on-one -on -one strategy session questionnaire checklist. Um, so by the way, we're not finished this. Eh? Let's go back to, let's go back to just uh, elevate your product photography. So imagine we finished our landing page and now we'd finished our questions and now it's going to ask us to check our results so we can go to the results page and you can see here that I have, this is what my results page looks like. And let's just say, okay, everything is perfect. I'm pleased as punch with my results page. So we are going to go back um, to home. Oops, I went one too far. We're going to go back to here. So now we've done, we've checked the results. Now it tells you to promote and start generating leads. So it actually gives you, it gives you tips on how to publish this. So um, I, you publish it. And now it says, okay, it's published. Now let's promote and start generating leads. So it share, it gives you, literally it gives you tweets. Elevate your product photography game with our quiz. Find out how to make your product stand out and attract your target out of uh, like attract your target audience effectively. Take the quiz now, and then here's a link for your scorecard with the hashtags. And it gives you these examples all the time. And if you want more, you just refresh, and it just gives you these short tweets to send out. I've tested it; these tweets actually work. It's crazy. Like they put so much effort into making this super easy for you. Here's the next thing. Imagine now I want to change this domain. I can change that domain. Like if you sign up for um, like more than the free account, the thing about um, the like I pay for scorecard, um, that's because I want lots of scorecards because I use them for my coaching. I use them for qualifying clients. I use them for leads. Like I use them for my one-on-one. -on -one. Like I use them for so many different areas. Like I need more than just 10 responses. I mean, 10 leads for free is incredible, but I need thousands of leads. So I sign up so I can get a thousand responses. By the way, if you're interested in using this score app the link is in my video description um i get a little commission if you sign up using my link it costs you nothing but definitely helps me continue to bring this great content to this channel so score app genius so imagine when it comes to my one-on-one -on -one time and how tough it is for me to maintain all the different things that i have going on um what I use is I use the score app for my one on one strategy. So I make it so if you want to meet with Cardi, 
Let's just have a look at the meet with Cardi scorecard. If you want to have one of those one-on-one -on -one consultations with me, now I have this. So this is what my page looks like if you want to book. And it's super simple. Number one, tell me about yourself. Number two, it unlocks your session. Number three, schedule it. So book a one-to-one -one session with Cardi. First, email, of course. So you start and it walks you through questions that basically, if you're trying to ask for help for coaching, check here. If you need help with professional photography, check here. And then it gives them a completely different set of questions when they want photography help or they need to hire me. And it gives a completely different set of questions if they want coaching and photography coaching business help. So I developed this sick detailed scorecards like where depending on their answer, it takes them to a different thing. And depending on their answers, they either get a quick 10 minute Zoom chat with me or they get a full half hour strategy session with me because they're prepared to book me with per coaching. And I do that as a precursor to the coaching session. So it's all based on their answers and it's completely changed my life. This has completely changed my life. I used to have a full calendar of a bunch of unqualified people. And now I have a less full calendar, but when there are bookings in my calendar, I have the data, I have all their questions. And I ask 40 questions for people who want me to coach them. So I have that data and I have the information right there so I can actually speak to them about all those things that they answered in that questionnaire. So data is king. And this is just like another way that I buy back my time. I'm not wasting my time on unqualified people who are just tire kicking. And I actually, the serious people get to filter themselves right through automatically and they get the most amount of my time and attention. So score app, super, super, super genius. And I use it another way. <laughs> I use it another way. And the other way that I use it is for the most powerful thing that I've ever realized is the wait list. If you ever want to go to say Bonnaroo or like one of these massive, like I won't say fire festival cause you know, fire festival. <laughs> but if you're trying to go to one of these multiple day festivals like Bonnaroo or like, um, you know, Burning Man or one of these things that they have in con like, we'll just use Bonnaroo because that's like, I know the, one of the ones that uses this example. They, you can buy tickets to that event for one five day period once per year. They literally, they announce the lineup and then they say, Join the waitlist. Join the waitlist for the opportunity to buy Bonnaroo tickets. And then guess what? They send in an email. They say Bonnaroo tickets will go on sale on Monday until they are sold out. So everybody who's on that waiting list now has the email. And then Monday, the tickets go on sale and they sell out. They sell 150,000 tickets in six minutes because of the waiting list. We have to become oversubscribed. We have to create supply and demand. And how you create that, imagine you want, here's the most genius way that I've ever heard somebody use a wait list. Elon Musk. Elon Musk had an idea for the Cybertruck. So you know what he did? He built one. He built one. And he brought it up on stage and he said, hey, I got this truck. It's right here. And if you want it, you have to tell me that you want it by joining the waiting list and putting down a $100 deposit to tell me that you're serious about owning this car. So in that one day, he got 1.1 million people to give him $100 so they would have the opportunity when the Cybertruck was ready. And he's like, and it's not gonna be ready for 
many, many years, many years, many years. But if you want the opportunity to buy one when it is ready, I need $100 and join this waiting list. He got $100 million, $100 million in 10 minutes. And then he went to the Chase, Chase Bank, JP Morgan, whoever it is, and says, hey, I have a million people who want this truck. I have $100 million. Uh, give me the money to buy to build a factory. And they're like, okay. And then they built the factory. That's how he started Tesla to begin with. He's like, I have this idea. This is the car. I don't have the money to build it. If you want that car, join the waiting list. Give me some money. And then he went to the bank and he's like, I have this idea for a car company. I have all these people who want the car. Here's the proof because they've given money. They've given me their credit card and they all say they'll buy the car when they have it. Um, give me the money to make the factory. And that's how Tesla started. So Elon Musk uses the mailing list, not the mailing list, but the waiting list. He uses the waiting list to create supply and demand that has, has just made Tesla a household name. Apple does it. Apple does it with their keynotes, with their WWDC. It's like the new MacBook Pro M4. They show you all the golden blue, 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 And then goes what they say. And it's available on October 1st. They don't have a wait list, but they show you, they get you all hyped, and then they tell you the exact date that you can get it. Guess what happens on that day? And then they also say, and you can pre-order it, right? You can pre-order it today. So now they got people going on the website pre-ordering it because they're using the waiting list mindset. Imagine if someone said this to you. Oh my God, I love your photography. I would love for you to do some photos for me. And you're like, amazing. Join my wait list. <laughs> They'd be like, what? <laughs> yeah, join my wait list. Here, you send them a link and just be like, make them answer some questions and show how serious they are about wanting to shoot with you. Yeah, leave me a deposit. Join my wait list, leave me a deposit. And then when I have a booking, I'll be you'll be the first one I call you. When I have an availability, you'll be the first one to call you. They'll be like, whoa, this guy must be really good. So you could leverage weightless and the weightless mindset to create scarcity. Here's a, here's a thing's going to break your brain. Imagine you have a full-time job. You work nine to five. So you can't work during the week, Monday to Friday, nine to five. But imagine you book yourself out two days per week during the week two days per week. So like maybe every second Thursday you take off and or every second Monday you take off or whatever. And and one, two, every two Saturdays, every other Saturday. So you only have four days per month that you can actually do photos for your photography business. Create a wait list, create a wait list. And now people don't need to know that you're working nine to five and like don't have like physical ability to shoot photos during those other times. But what you can sell is I have four slots per month. Join the wait list if you like to have one of them. It's just perception. Now, now they're seeing, oh, if I want an opportunity to shoot with this photographer, I got to book one of these dates because if I don't, it's going to be gone and someone else is going to book that date. But you're not using waitlist technology. You're not using waitlist mindset to create scarcity with your customers. And that's why you don't have any. So you're not creating supply and demand. You're not asking, you're not qualifying them by using questionnaires and forcing them to go. Like, here's another question. Like, in what's if money was no object, what is your perfect photo shoot look like? And then give them a text like you can make um, yes or no answers. You can do multiple choice answers or you can just do text answers and let them just type whatever they want. So leave space for one of those. And it's like if money was no object, what would your perfect photo shoot look like? And now like you get your client to tell you exactly what they want the offer to be. And also how much they're willing to pay for it. <laughs> you better give me a hey yeah if you're feeding this content because you know, 
I, I don't do this for me. I'm already doing this. But if you want to completely have more people on a list that want your services than you can actually, then you actually have the time to fulfill, we're all looking for clients. I just gave you a client generation factory. Daniel Priestley is a genius. You can apply this to any business. And I'm just teaching you how to apply it to your photography business. I just skimmed the surface because, you know, I only have a limited amount of time with this podcast in order to grab your attention and to hook you and to help you change behavior. The link for Score app is in the description. You get no discount if you use my link, but what I do is I get a little pinch if you decide to pay for this thing at some point. I gotta tell you, I pay for it. I pay full freight, but the amount of money that I've made just from having this tool, imagine if it cost you 50 bucks a month um, for 100 leads and one of those leads equals five thousand dollars oh is it worth the 50 bucks for you you know what i'm come on man you know it's like i pay for so many tools that generate so much money for me like i just have stuff on autopilot and when i see something that is like a tool like this that's going to change my game <laughs> i just pay Give it to me, baby. Give me those leads. And then I spent the days just building my scorecards. And it's like I released them quietly to a couple of people, found some bugs because, you know, in order for the questions to answer and, and for those like in order for the questions to give you the right um, like score at the end, it's like, yes, good, no bad. Like that's kind of something that I had to figure out the first time. It's like, are you doing this? Yes. Okay, great. Or are you, do you agree that this would make your business better? Yes. No, we actually, you have to reverse that question because you want no to be the answer in that question, not yes. Because it's going to give a higher score. And it's really like, do you agree that your business sucks? Yes. It's like, no, it's, you have to rephrase that question so it's a no answer. It's like, do you believe what you're doing right now is a plan of success for your business? No. <laughs> so, no, I don't believe it's like. Um, so it's like now you're getting, you're rephrasing that question and you're getting an answer that tells you that they need you and it tells them that they need you. If they answered, yes, I'm doing all the right things to make my business work, then they think they're doing all the right things to make their business worth and therefore they're, they don't need your help. So why are they doing the questionnaire? So you have to answer your or get your questions phrased in the right way, which took me a little bit of time to understand that. So know that um, if Alex Hermosi, who literally is making $3 million a month, is using the Score app, in order to qualify his multi-million dollar companies, he kind of tells you that like, this is on the right track. It kind of tells you that you'll notice that if you see a poll on t like, what kind of a lover are you? I bet you you've seen that questionnaire. What kind of a lover are you? Or like, um, are you dateable? I bet you've seen a questionnaire like this. Are you dateable? How dateable are you? Are you ready for marriage? Take the wedding planning hotline. Like, like, I'm sure you've seen those types of things on the internet. Like, the most popular one is what kind of lover are you? What kind of a relationship? What kind of a boyfriend are you? What kind of a girlfriend are you? Take the scorecard and see what type of a boyfriend, what type of a lover, what type of a partner you are. So Salim Almadani in chat says, um, Salim, by the way, has an advantage because he is one of my coaching students. So Salim says, I've used Score app for qualifying models with an agency, and now they've hired me to build a Score app for one of their clients to help them break into a market. 
So, um, yes, Salim is actually Salim is actually quite advanced. Where he's he's using, like, I gave him a tool to get leads, and he's also now already using that tool to sell his customers that they can use that tool to get leads for them. So he's already like using this as a sales feature for what he can do for people. So <sighs> Salim, big brain, good shit, Salim, proud of you. So understand, to wrap up today, we've explored how Score app can be a game changer for your lead generation, whether you're trying to attract high-end clients for your photography business, or if you're trying to qualify leads for another type of business. When you follow this format, you can see how this tool not only attracts more leads, but it attracts the right leads. And leads of people who are ready to invest in what you have to offer. Remember, when players like Alex Hermosi um, can be scaled down, like when things that players like Alex Hermosi are using for their businesses can be scaled down and you can actually use it for yours. Like that's big brain. Whether you're aiming to build a photography business or any creative business, this provides a framework to ensure that you're working with the right clients and clients that matter the most. By the way, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. I give away incredibly free content here multiple times per week. If you're not using Score app already or scorecards or questionnaires in your content, like you can put these on social media. I have it on LinkedIn. I have it on Twitter. I use it on YouTube in my community board. Like. It's just been like an insane generator as far as bringing me people into my coaching program, which also tells you that like my coaching program is almost full. I have a couple of more spots for one on one with me and I'm really trying to like get I'm really trying to get like three or four of exactly the right shooters into my one-on-one -on -one program. So if you're thinking about doing some one-on-one -on -one coaching or one-on-one -on -one mentorship, um, read my testimonials if you need some help. <laughs> I'm like obsessed. I'm really looking for the right people. Um, and yeah, there's a links in the description there for that. Guys, I hope today brought you value. I hope you're going to take what I said today to heart. I hope you're going to use the link that is right there in the video description to actually, and by the way, if you're listening on iTunes or Apple Music or Spotify, the link for Score app is inside this podcast description. So do yourself a favor and use that link. Sign up for Score app and make like have them make a scorecard for you like spend some time on this if you spent an afternoon on this you could build the ultimate lead generator for your business it would give you a reason to be back on social media it would give you a reason because you'd be so excited to share this scorecard with potential clients this is all I do. I obsess over helping you make it to that next level of your photography career. You might be a pro, you might be underperforming and not making more than $100,000 a year. If you're not making $100,000 a year, you have to work and fix this because this game, like you should be making like 50,000 a week. Like that's so possible, but it's like, you need the right information. I obsess over giving as much information as I can for free here on YouTube, considering like not everybody who hears this information even is ready to act on it. But if you're one of those ones that's ready to act on the kind of information that I give, go to the Cardi Method, sign up. 
um, make it so you're allowing me to send you some correspondence and join my free community. I also do photo reviews here every Thursday. Photo reviews are one of the core pillars of this channel. I give incredibly detailed assignments every week. I actually teach you how to be an editorial assignment photographer. If you've watched any of my shows, like you'll see how, how dedicated I am to helping the people who submit get better. And by the way, if you watched my show on Thursday, you saw that I had a little bit of glitches there at the end. And I think I figured out why. So as you can see today, by we have like no issues and it's a very perfect stream. I think I figured out why I had those issues and I think I've corrected it. So thank you for your support and watching. Guys, I hope today brought you value. Subscribe, make clips, share to your social media, social networks. The only way that I'm going to get to 20,000 people, 25,000 people, 50,000 people subscribe to this channel is with your help. You can help me by sharing. You can help me by posting my content and you can help yourself by acting on the stuff that I talk about on this channel. All you need to do is do the things that I say to do and it'll create instant results. I hope today brought you value. Thanks so much for watching. This commercial free live stream was brought to you by the members of this channel. If it wasn't for you, we'd have to fill up these live streams with ads that would just interrupt the flow. The members of this channel make commercial free content during these live streams possible. Consider becoming a member for $5 a month today to gain access to secret live streams, live chats, and to show your support with that crown badge next to your name. Sharing is caring. If this content has brought you value today, share it, clip it, post it to your socials. Curating and sharing helpful content makes you an expert, even if the content you're sharing isn't yours. Be a curator and share this content with your network. If you're an emerging or struggling photographer that's trying to break free from your current nine to five grind and transition to the life of a working pro photographer, that's our obsession here at The Party Method. Register, get the support you need. If you're alone and struggling at this craft, make sure you join The Cardi Method community. You'll always find help in the show notes. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Find your creative and business genius with The Cardi Method.